Hello and welcome to another update video about Aptos. Aptos um, yeah, produced a five wave move off the low. Already updated you about that. Um, it reversed at the 61.8 retracement, broke out of the descending price channel, reached a peak, did highlight to you up here. I think that was on Tuesday last week that we would most likely get into the yellow area. That would be support. It did get into this area. It found support. It moved up. It was probably just a B wave because we're now making another low against the one of um, Thursday last week. So I have to shift the wave two over here. But as long as the support area is holding, we can focus on higher. Yeah. So this would probably be an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. Um, take the alternative out. And yeah, the message is and has been as long as now the 1084 level is holding, we can focus on higher. We see now some green candles down there as a reaction to the 61.8 retracement again. And again, it's, it's so interesting how nicely Aptos is reacting always to the golden ratio here and here. So let's see if this is the reversal point. If it turns around to the upside, it would be the ideal time now. Um, but again, please note, it can also reach the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement at 1084. But below 1084, this chart will become increasingly questionable because then we are losing this one two setup or the likelihood that it will work out to the upside. So if it really reverses from here and I really don't have confirmation yet, it can still come down further. Yeah, we haven't made any higher highs, no higher lows. So it is just at the moment reacting to the golden ratio. If it moves up from here, even better. Um, but if it, if it moves up from here in a third wave, what would be the target? So for that, we measure the length of the wave one go to the low of the wave two and the target would be $19.73. Eventually, I'd like to see the $25, $27 range, something like that up there. Yeah, um, but yeah, this is sort of everything I can really tell you at the moment. Bear in mind that a C wave oftentimes produces a bullish divergence compared to the A wave. So let me actually adjust that for you. So that is normally a good um, signal for a possible reverse. So let's see if we have one. Yeah, bullish divergence here on the one hour. We might see that on the four hour as well. Um, mm, yeah, no, on the four hour we don't see that, but on the one hour we do. So it depends on the time frame. Um, the more you see, obviously, the better. Now here we have an early signal, possible bullish divergence on the one hour RSI. The MACD does also show a bullish divergence. So that means we make a higher low on the indicator, whereas we make a lower low on the price chart. Um, because typically the A wave produces the strongest reading, the C wave a lower reading. Let's see. I mean, um, either support holds now or not. And we already are trying to break above this trend line. It's a bit hard to define that here, but you could argue we broke. And let's see if it sustains, if we, I mean, you might have even be, yeah, maybe this was even a descending wedge, not really, but um, yeah, possibly. First target of such a wedge is typically the beginning of the wedge. So you could argue for um, a rally to around 1350, then it needs to break above the B wave high at 1428. These are certainly the next key resistance levels. So it's a bit of a wait and see if it exits the support area. Um, let's, let's see if it works out. Um, it ideally does turn around here. If it doesn't, it can still use the 1084 level, but below that, it's going to get very unlikely in terms of a bullish outcome. Okay, that's my update about Aptos. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.